Daisy Lima Life and today we're doing a back to school project. Um, I am eligible to do a back to school project because I work at a school. I work at a university. So um, I sit at a desk and I like to have little containers so I decorated these with duct tape and washi tape and whoops oopsie uh, just made a little fun design out of them. For this project, you will need plastic containers, um, pill bottle, Pringles, plastic Pringles, and this was, I think almonds came in here. So they're all plastic. You will also need rubbing alcohol, some Kleenex or paper towels, scissors, a ruler, some decorative paper, color scheme that suits your fancy, some paper punches. I'm using large circles that is two and a half and this one's a large one as well and then this one is small enough for the uh, pill bottles some paper so I'm using my new Martha Stewart circle cutter uh, which I got for $9.97 woohoo and I'm really pleased with how it works it's enjoying those you will need washi tape I just picked out some of the colors I picked out these little thin ones because I think I can use it to accent um, stripes here's some pink uh, I got uh, these this green at Ikea I have this uh, really cool Hello Kitty uh, duct tape so I'm gonna use that so let's get started is we're gonna take our rubbing alcohol and our Kleenex or paper towel that way and we're just gonna clean the outside of all of our containers, also the tops. We're just getting any oils and dirt that would keep our uh, tape from sticking. Start by cutting your uh, duct tape to measure. Uh, duct tape's super sticky, so I just measured it out. The washi tape, I'm just applying straight from the roll. I put on two layers because the first layer was a little transparent. Now we're ready for our lid. Uh, we're just going to get a ruler and measure out how many inches we need. We're going to use the depression inside the lid. Um, we've got our Martha Stewart circle cutter and we're going to find the corresponding circle, which is about three inches, uh, probably slightly less because we want to make sure that the paper is nestled in between. We're just going to find our three inch corresponding hole and so we can use our blade, give it a spin, and here's our circle. Trim off any loose edges, oops, and fit it. Uh, we're going to use our duct tape on the pink circle. Just give uh, as much that'll fit and trim it out. And that's really easy. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, fit it to the lid. Apply some double stick tape and stick the circle on the lid. We'll decorate it later, but that's our canister. Okay, we have our prescription bottle. I like the ones with the little flip off lids. They're easier to access. Um, we're just going to start with our washi tape. Um, I'm using this poppy pattern washi. Um, I really like it. It's one of my favorites. And I'm just starting at the top and winding it around. It's easy with the washi tape to just go right onto the bottle. And at the when the edges meet, I just cut. Um, just to keep applying the tape row by row, cutting each one. And uh, you can see the pattern is sort of weird. Um, so we're going to fix that later with some decoration. But just tape till you're done with 
Now we're going to work on the lid. Um, I've got a paper punch, I've got some glue dots, uh, I've got some decorative paper, and I'm just looking for something that goes with the bottle. And uh, here's a circle already uh, with some writing and it says sun is shining. So that's going to fit on my lid. So I can just use my circle punch to punch that out. Boom, done. And it fits on the lid. We need to measure the lid so we can cut the background that covers the whole white area uh, using our circle cutter and boom. So we're just going to stick the sun is shining onto the gray and the gray with a glue dot onto the lid. And let's just make sure it fits. For our final canister, um, we're just going to line up some tapes and see how we like them and just start applying them in the same way as we did the other two canisters. Um, since this one is our tallest canister, we're just going to be a little bit mindful and work slowly um, to cover it to make sure because it, it can get off-sided, off-balance really easy and then you end up with the space and it looks all wonky. But um, I'm not really paying too much attention. I'm just sort of going thick, thin, thick, thin on the tapes and uh, not really minding which pattern I'm using where. Um, I said this was a Pringles canister, but I don't think it is. I think it's like crystal light or something. Uh, but anyway, uh, just keep applying the tape and you can see that the pattern is... I don't know it's kind of fun and make sure that all the tape is lying flatly against the canister for the lid we're just going to measure that out again we have some corresponding punches this is a smooth punch uh, this one is scalloped edge I don't know which one I want to use so we'll just check it out I like the round edge Tape it up, add it to the lid. Okay, on this lid, we're going to get a little fancy. Um, I didn't end up filming the part where I cut out the um, hearts, but I stuck them on. Then I added some Diamond Glaze 3, DG3, and then some seed beads that I had extra lying around. And I poured the Diamond Glaze on top and added some more seed gleads, more diamond glaze, and let it dry. Okay, back to Hello Kitty. We're going to add some pom-pom fringe, cut it to measure, uh, and also cut off three additional single pom-poms. Um, we're attaching the pom-poms to the lid with glue. I had some trouble with this one, so we ended up using tacky glue, which worked great. Uh, so just attach them to the top and make sure they're adhered. So now we're getting ready to attach our pom-pom fringe. We're going to use this uh, double-sided uh, tape and just apply that where we want our fringe on our canister. And when we get to the edge, we'll just cut it and make sure it's all perfectly adhered and peel off the top layer and now it's ready to add our fringe. Um, we'll just add that on there and press as you go to make sure it is nice and stuck and cut off the edge. And if you have a dangling bit, you can just cut that off. And there you go.